Okay, all right, uh, Ambrish. We will have to wrap it up on that note. A little short on time today. But thank you very much for joining in and giving us the perspective on all the stocks that we've discussed. Well, the market is uh, going to end looking not that bad at all. I mean, imagine the Bank Nifty, which was down a whole 1, 1.1%, has had a very decent recovery. So it seems to be springing to life getting into this long weekend. And if I talk about some of the movers and shakers, I mean, just in the uh, last half hour or so, the recovery is quite visible on uh, stocks like, I mean, ICICI Bank anyway, better of the lot. Let's pull up some of the others as well. Uh, pull up HDFC Bank, for instance. Pull up Axis Bank. Still in the red, but they've cut their losses, helping the Bank Nifty also pare down some of the red on the screen. Uh, having said that, uh, the, the the red side does comprise of uh, Tech Mahindra, weakest stock on the Nifty, 6% down. Sipla, which was uh, losing some momentum after yesterday's big surge. Uh, and uh, Bharti Airtel is the other one, which is down about 2 2.5%. Uh, those are some of the uh, big names on the Nifty. On the gaining side, Bajaj Auto, 5%, top gear and how. Well, ACC's numbers look very, very good, as we mentioned earlier on the show. And in fact, that stock popped up close to around 10%, goes home with a big gain out there. And it had a positive rub off because Ambuja Cements as well was up close to around 7%. Remember, Ambuja Cements has, uh, is the promoter of ACC Cement. So that explains why that stock is well run away. Now, the street is looking through that maybe, in fact, uh, you know, both of them have got their act together. India Cements, well, it took heart from the fact that ACC's numbers are so good. The stock had corrected close to around 15% from the recent peak, but today it popped up in trade, so that did well. Nalco, you overnight you had aluminium prices that were quite firm and it's a PSU and it's in mining, so the street likes that. So that stock as well ends with solid gains. On the flip side, you had stocks like KPIT, Loris, HBCL, all of them under some pressure. But guys, I think what was important today was the Nifty Bank, second day running, went to the 200 DMA and managed to bounce off that mark. I think that's going to be a very, very crucial level on the Nifty Bank and in turn on the Nifty Bank. Well, there goes the bell and the Nifty closes at 21,378, a 75-point knock on the Nifty with the Sensex down 310 points. And just a quick tally of uh, the week gone by, it was a truncated week. The Nifty ends with a cut of 0.9%, the mid-caps end with a cut of 1.7% and the big drag has come in in terms of the banks. The Nifty banking index down 2.5% with private sector uh, coming under pressure. But with that, it's a wrap on Closing Bell. Editor's Roundtable comes up next. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.